tiempo. Hola, Dani, ¿qué tal todo? Bien, no sé, pues por aquí de paso. ¿Y bueno, tú? Por cierto, estás en la cámara, ¿verdad? Por aquí estoy. La pregunta es, si Dani vive en Palma de Mallorca, ¿cómo es que viene a Madrid? Algo importante tiene que estar pasando. Sí, no sé, algo pasará. Pues, vale, ya lo estoy viendo el título. Esto es el blog de WWE Live Madrid. Sí. Porque resulta que la WWE nos ha dado entradas para WWE Live Madrid y vamos a demostrar lo bien que se vive en esto. Así que, Dani, tú nunca has visto Wrestling en vivo, ¿verdad? No. Nope. ¿Cuánto tiempo llevas viendo Lucha Libre? Desde que soy un cuajo. Hoy, y el oficial Dani va a ver su primer show en vivo de, de Wrestling. ¿Tú qué es lo que esperas? Grábate, venga. Eh... Bueno, la verdad es que no sé qué esperarme. La verdad es que no sé qué esperarme. ¿En serio? ¿Tú qué esperas? A ver, obviamente voy a marcar como un hijo de puta. Eso está más que claro. El lenguaje PG, hostia. Eh, luego pones un pitido y ya está. No lo voy a poner. <risa> ¿Qué, ¿Qué esperas de un show? Eh, bueno, la verdad es que los combates anunciados pintan bien. En general pintan muy bien. Voy a poder ver a Luke Harper, voy a poder ver a Rusev, voy a poder ver a Nakamura, voy a poder ver a Kevin Owens, voy a... Y ahí está él. Y ahí está él. <risa> y voy a poder comprar merchandising y cosas. <risa> bueno, pues... Ya, ya para tú. Pues, bueno. Estamos hablando de esta laguna, nos estamos aún preparando. Pero tenemos algo especial. Eso empieza a las 5, pero nosotros tenemos algo especial a las 3 y media. Ya ya habremos puesto algo en Twitter, pero vamos a ver lo que hay. Ya veremos, porque al fin y al cabo eh, ya iréis viendo poco a poco lo que surge. Bueno, estamos aquí en el Wizzing Center, pero, ah, aquí estamos. pero no estamos en la, en, la, en la zona general. Estamos en la sección de prensa. Hemos quedado aquí a una hora X con la gente organizando el WWE Live. Y vamos a ir de prensa. ¡Vamos a ir de prensa! ¡Vamos a ir de prensa, joder! ¡Vamos a ir de prensa! Y por ahora, nos han confirmado que vamos a entrevistar a Baron Corbin. Ya no. Sí, bueno, ahí está. Hace, hace lo que puede. Hace lo que puede y se la aprecia por eso. Sí, y luego también vamos a entrevistar a Natalia. La, una de las mejores luchadoras nunca. Se puede decir que hace las mejores de la compañía. En sí. la principal. Así que... Vamos a ver lo que nos espera. ¡Nos vemos! Estamos aquí en la puerta de prensa. Sí, en la puerta de prensa, ahora sí que sí. Ya tenemos pulsos de de prensa. Tenemos pulsos de prensa, tenemos las entradas. Así que vamos a entrevistar a Natalia y Baron Corbin. No sabemos cómo va a ser. Ya veremos. Ya veremos, vamos a intentar. Y bueno, eh, me da que voy a estar por ringside. Este va a estar por ringside. Así que si veis alguna foto, algún video guay en el ringside, es suyo. Nos van a mostrar las limitaciones. Bastante normalitas. Sí, a ver, está lo normal. Obviamente. No decimos las condiciones, pero es divertido. Sí. Va a ser divertido. Sí. <risa> 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 um, yes, I have questions for Corbin and Natalia. So, first for Natalia, you are a very veteran wrestler and will consider one of the best, if not the best female wrestler now in the roster. What female wrestlers from NXT do you see as a future icon for the women's division? And which of them would you want to face with the title on the line? Um, for Coben, your last couple of months had their ups and downs. Now you're the US champion, a very deserving US champion. But how are you planning to give prestige to the title? Whoa, well, that's a great question. Um, I like to ask hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, uh, I'm very lucky that I come from the lineage that I do, and I've worked hard to kind of withhold. You know, with I've worked hard to honor my family's legacy. Obviously my grandfather passed the torch on to his kids and my uncles and my dad passed on that torch to me. And so being a female in the WWE and blazing my own trail, not just trying to be like Bret Hart, but also, you know, honoring Bret, honoring my dad, honoring Owen, honoring the British Bulldogs and my grandfather, but blazing my own trail as a female has been awesome. And I, I there's just so many girls I want to work with. I mean, I, I was at the Mae Young Classic and I was just like a kid in a candy shop. I remember sitting next to Beth Phoenix and going, just when I think I've wrestled everyone, there's like 15 more girls that I want to work with. And I mean, there was Tony Storm, there's, um, gosh, just look, I mean, Bianca. Like she's, I watched her and I was like, whoa, this girl kind of, I mean, 
she's going to be great. And she'd only been wrestling, I think, maybe maybe a year. Um, the one girl, the one girl that I really, really want to um, get my hands on is Shayna Baszler. Um, Shayna actually helped prepare me for one of the most important and historical matches of my career. Um, and that was a match against Charlotte Flair at NXT TakeOver in 2014. Most people don't know that Shayna actually, I privately met with her and flew myself to Los Angeles to train with her to prepare for that fight. And that's how seriously I took that fight with Charlotte. And, in, and people still look at it as one of the pivotal moments of the women's division changing. And I trained with her and she taught me everything she could teach me about trying to reverse the figure four because I knew that that was something that Charlotte was going to be bringing to the table. So Shayna has taught me so much and I would love to have a match with her. And I think she is going to be an awesome fit in NXT and eventually on the main roster of the women's division. She's phenomenal. Question about your ups and downs. Yeah, we, I mean, you're right. It, it has been ups and downs with the money in the bank and, uh, you know, John Cena at SummerSlam. And in reality, I'm just a baby in this game. Like, I have been wrestling for five years total. And a lot of the guys that I step in the ring with from AJ Styles, Ty Dillinger, John Cena, I mean, if you, if you add the match where I won the United States Championship together, Ty Dillinger and AJ Styles have been wrestling longer than I've been alive. So, I'm learning on the fly, if you will. I'm a natural competitor. Uh, it's what I do. It's what I've done since I was a little kid, from boxing and football, you know, going to the NFL and all of those things, and really tailoring myself to get to where I am now. And I use all of those tools from all of those sports to be the best well-rounded athlete that I can possibly be. And, I, you know, I'm not good with rules. I'm not good with doing what I'm told. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm out, I mean, really, I'm out there to, to have fun for myself and uh, cause as much mayhem and chaos as I possibly can. And sometimes it works out for me, as you can see this here. Sometimes it doesn't. Like John Cena, uh, you know, he cost me my Money in the Bank briefcase against Jinder. And uh, I owe him for that. And SummerSlam didn't go as planned. But, uh, you know, trying to be the best, like she said, you want to create your own path. Um, you know, you got to take those downs and, you know, move on. You can't harp on them. I can't live in the past that I was beat by John Cena or that I lost the money in the bank briefcase because I would have continued that downward spiral. I had to really check myself, check my gut, and go forward. And, you know, I walked away with the United States Championship from a triple threat match, which was supposed to be one-on-one -on -one with me and AJ Styles. Uh, and last minute it got switched. So you gotta you got to learn to live on the fly and, and live in the moment and, and do those things that I've trained my whole life to do to walk away a champion. And to bring prestige to this, you know, The Miz is running his mouth a lot right now. And I can't stand that guy. He, you know, but the good thing is his wife is not there to protect him anymore. She's hanging out at home. And uh, I think he took a little offense when I told him just to stay home and play dress up with her. I don't know if anybody saw the video of him uh, wearing a Prince Charming or whatever costume, cutting a cake. That's a safe place for The Miz. So, he likes to, uh, you know, run his mouth, but at the end of the day, that bell's going to ring, and at Survivor Series, you know, I'm going to start my path with uh, making this the most prestigious title the WWE has to offer, uh, and giving the Miz, Miz uh, the beating of his lifetime and uh, holding this in his face and everybody else's face who doesn't think I deserve it or whatever you will. You know, I, I plan on keeping this for a very, very long time. <laughs> Ahí tenemos el resumen de los matches que va a haber. Ven, ven narrando. Ah, vale, moto popular. Pues al final nos han dejado. Sí, al final han un poco por aquí. Así que nos dejan hacer vídeos de los tres primeros combatillos y luego fotos que ya publicaremos. Sí. Así que Dani tiene la cámara guachi. Vamos a hacer que esto sea divertido. Vamos a hacerlo. Hola, 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 hola,
el programa pasado, momentos Chupi, disfrutando de esos combates que realmente se ponen en la
Tienes que encontrarlo, ¿eh? Pegado en mi maleta. Pero que aún no tenía el resto. Empecé a grabar. O sea, para eso de la campana. Tío, hemos acabado de salir de WW Live Madrid. ¿Qué tal está? Eh, sin palabras, o sea, es que no tiene ni punto de comparación a lo que pueda ser en, en televisión. Tener a, a las superestrellas cerca, eh, eh, a, a dos nanoparkses de tía, así es que Nakamura, poder... Ah, sí. hasta Rusev nos ha noticiado. Rusev noticias, hasta estamos ahí y le quitamos Ru Rusev Day y nos dijo, ¡eh! Sí, o sea... ¡Se y, fue y noticias, tío! No sé, es que ha sido todo muy, muy bien hilado. Así, ¿cuánto, ¿Cuántos matches ha habido? No es una brutalidad, el doble que no es Smackdown prácticamente. Y, y el main event, brutal. A, 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 hasta Jinder hace bien su papel. Hasta Jinder, Jinder está bien en el booking. WWE es algo único, es maravilloso estar ahí cerca, casi poder tocar a las superestrellas, poder decir las cosas que te respondan. Eso es mágico. Es. No, o sea, no, no hay palabras para decirlo. Si tienes la oportunidad, ir a verlo. Y no hay más. Eh, así que muchas gracias WWE Live. Gracias por todo. Nos vemos.